Hey guys, it's been a long time since I uploaded the last video and now I feel extra awkward but let's try not to pay attention to it and talk about something fun. First of all, how do you like my new intro? I've commissioned my friend Gabe to make it and it turned out so cute. <laughs> I'm in love with it. Did you notice Cat Planter is purring in the end? Yeah, that's my favorite part for sure. <laughs> if you're looking for someone who can animate things for you or create intros like this, he's your guy. I'll leave all links to his site and YouTube channel in the description box, so check it out. And today I'm gonna be drawing this not very serious illustration. I feel like it's a bit different from what I usually draw, but totally my style. I've been asked a lot, probably like a million times, <laughs> where do I find inspiration? And this picture can be a great example of ideas that were born from real life inspiration. I honestly don't know what people expect to hear when they ask what inspires me. I think it's pretty obvious. If you look at my works, uh, generally speaking, I'm inspired by nature, plants, ocean, underwater creatures, animals, people on streets, bright colors. I just literally describe what I usually draw. And now I'm gonna probably disappoint some of you. Other people's art doesn't really inspire me. Yet, yeah, definitely I love it and appreciate it and get a kick in a bud to go work harder, but that's a different feeling. But do I get new ideas from someone's work? I would say not so much. And it doesn't mean that my ideas and style are absolutely unique. It is normal to be inspired by lots of things that are popular nowadays and lots of other people inspired by the same stuff. It's, it's it's called fashion, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know at this point someone definitely will pop out in the comments telling there's no new ideas and everything good was created even before we were born. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> if this thought process helps you to be creative, great, do your stuff. I mean, well, I personally just don't think so. Yeah. I lost a thought. Anyway, uh, this picture was inspired by my friend's dog, Sierra. She's a beautiful husky doggo. Super friendly and cute and I could hug her all day long. She's so soft and fluffy. Oh, that's the other reason why I didn't show you the full sketching process. I've started um, drawing this picture off camera when we met with friends for drink and draw and at home I decided to fil film the rest of the drawing. After thinking about husky doggos I felt the need to draw someone, well of course it's a cute girl, <laughs> in traditional outfit of some sort. Um, I grew up on the north of Russia and this particular clothes on this girl were inspired by Sami Nation. I think I pronounced it right. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sami Nation outfits. It's not exactly the same, but don't be fussy about it, okay? <laughs> I think Sami people also called Laplanders. Mm. They live in some parts of Norway, Finland, Sweden, and Russia, where I lived specifically. So yeah, that's what inspired me to draw these two creatures who are not scared of cold. And I think they could be really good friends. And in the process, uh, I've started thinking since I'm so creative and adventurous in the theme that I'm drawing, um, I thought, hey, Alisa, you should let yourself loose with painting style. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be clean and precise. Well, it didn't work out this way. But I've tried, mostly, in my thoughts. <laughs> and also drawing 
was made on A4 size watercolor paper, so that's something. Usually I just don't even consider drawing on this small size. Um, on clothes I used lots of brown, red and some blue and green colors, which are traditional in Sami culture, plus lots of reindeer fur, but I decided to skip drawing it. Furry husky was enough for me. <laughs> And I don't really know what else I can tell about this picture other than it turned out better than I expected and I really liked it in the end. So let me know if you're interested in prints or maybe would like to purchase the original. I, I think I'm willing to part with it. Oh, speaking of prints. Yes, this is happening. I finally opened my own online store. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being patient with me. For now, I decided to start with Etsy and maybe later move to other platforms. But yeah, it's open. It works. You can go there. <laughs> I will leave all the links in the description. Are you excited? I'm very excited. First day of sales was crazy. I'm still handling all the orders. Hopefully I will get used to packing and shipping process faster. I'm trying my best to make everything cute and write personal messages to each of you. Go check it out and throw all your money at me, smash that piggy bank, empty your savings account. The time has come to spoil yourself with some cuteness. I mean, buy my prints please. <laughs> so far there's not much, but I'm planning on making more stuff like pins, tote bags, pencil bags um, and variety of stickers. It's all coming, hopefully, very soon. If you want some specific art that I drew as a print, let me know in the comments. I'll try to make it happen. Well, depending if it's gonna be popular because I I don't want to print stuff and then realize nobody wants to get it, you know. Waste of resources and my time. Um, I was also thinking about doing some sort of store related videos about what stuff I use, how I package, how much I put into taxes and cry at night about that. This sort of quality content. I personally binge watched all the videos on YouTube about running an online store, packaging products and shipping. Maybe my experience will be useful to somebody else too. Who knows, maybe you would want to open the store and you need some information that somebody probably already told on the internet a million times, but you want to hear it from me. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> So, um, and while you're watching this video, I already started filming another one. I definitely need to get back into posting on schedule. Man, I thought I would never say that, but I kind of miss it. I mean, I don't hate editing anymore. The most problem for me is just voiceover, because once I press record, my brain goes completely blank, I forget everything I wanted to say, and you end up with a rambling video like that. <laughs> but I promise I will get back into something more interesting next time. Hopefully I will find um, a theme to talk about and yeah, and we can discuss it later. <laughs> I think the picture is done by now. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble a lot. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.